Now I'm going to show you an easy way to teach rut control in a few easy steps. If you listen to commentators on uh, NRL or something like that, you'll, you'll start to think it's quite complicated. But I found I've been able to get it down to quite a few easy steps. The first thing we're going to look at is the hit. I've got Punga here who's going to carry the ball and I've got three defenders. We'll just start with two for now. So Connor, if you can just sit back just at 50% pace to sort of jog in and I want you both to tackle shoulder shaped studs, tackle Punga and just stop, okay? Three, two, one, go. Stop, okay. Now, as you'll see from this point, don't move boys. As you'll see from this point, I've put some cones here. And this is the real first part about trying to teach rook control really, 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 really simply. What I need you to focus on as coaches is there's an imaginary line underneath. I've actually put the line there for for you to see visually what i'll do is i'll just move these boys over a little bit so it looks like a trial line so move this way boys move this way so i always tell my players to pretend there's a try line underneath them okay so for now this red these red cones will be try lines now connor you'll come in as a third man for now so come in there run around the back okay as if you're tackling you're tackling you're tackling there so you're in there okay now, the ideal state that we want the attacking player to get to as defensive coaches is for Punga in the blue shirt to be on his back there. And I'll tell you why now. So just slowly put Punga into the, on his back, okay? Just slowly and gently. Down, so we're still in the camera. Hold there, hold there, okay? Right, if you three just get off him for now and Punga, you stay where you are. If you look at Punga now, his journey to play the ball is significantly uh, stretched out. This is the furthest journey, or the longest journey for him to play the ball. So Punga, if you're going to play the ball now, show us what you'd need to do. He'd have to roll onto his back, get over there. So that's quite a long time for him to play it. If he was to end up on his front, so end up on your front now. Look, he's dirtied my shirt. If he's on his front like that, then all he has to do is get up and play it. Okay, so our ideal state is to get Punga back there as much as we can. Now, that can't happen all the time, but we're trying to get there as much as we can. So if you can get three, you go back again. Connor, you come in late, like you did before, okay? I think, oh, Tyrone switched with you. Right, so we'll just go 50% again and end up roughly over that line there and just stop for me, okay? Let's go. So the first phase now, stop. The first phase now, you can go in, you're all right. We are trying to stop him from scoring a try on an imaginary try line. Blue shirt is trying to get down. These three boys are trying to keep him up. So we're going to wrestle him away from our try line. So the call is away, away, away. So the first coaching point, get him away from our try line. The second coaching point, get him as far as you can from this imaginary line. Okay? So now do the whole thing again and this time wrestle him back. But try and land there so we can see you on the screen. Okay, but just do it at 50% so you sort of fall. Okay, go. Hold, hold, hold. And down, down. Are we still in the screen there on the camera? Yeah, okay. So that's the ideal scenario that we want to be in. The peel off and everything else we'll look at later.